Okay, today we're going to find the arc length of a curve. So, let's look at this function. Y equals... A 4 times the square root of 2 divided by 3 times x raised to the 3 halves minus 1 and we want to find the length of this curve as x goes from 0 to 1 Okay, I'm going to graph the function right here. When I graph it, it will look something like this. Mm, blah, blah, blah. Just like that. Here is the point at 0, 0. You can just get it by putting 0 into the function. Uh, oops, actually 0 minus 1, so let me raise the 0. Come on, little eraser. Here you go. Okay. Now, zero, negative one. And then over here, we're going to put the, put, put the point one for x, and then we'll get zero point eighty one for the y value. Okay. So. Um, we are going to find the length using the formula the integral from a to b of the square root of 1 plus dy dx squared dx. And in parentheses, I'm going to put all the stuff that I'm going to need. So we need dy dx. And that's um, 4 times the square root of 2 divided by 3 times 3 halves x to the 1 half power. And when you simplify that, you get 2 times the square root of 2 times x to the 1 half power. All right, we need dx, I mean dy, dx squared. So we need uh, 2 times the square root of 2 times x to the 1 half power like this squared which is going to give us 8x but not only we need that we need 1 plus that so I'm gonna put a 1 there plus and then another 1 there plus and then I'll put a 1 here plus okay so then the length is the integral from 0 to 1 because those are the x values of the square root of 1 plus 8x because that's what um, 1 plus the derivative square is uh, all of that under the square root um, and then with respect to x Okay, to solve that, we're going to use substitution, so we're going to let u equals 1 plus 8x, then du will be 8dx, so d x will be du divided by 8. We're also going to change the limit, so x equals 0 implies u equals to 1, because it's 1 plus 0. And x equals 1 implies u equals to 9. 
All right, so doing all of that, we get a new integral that goes from 1 to 9. These are the new limits of integration. u to the 1 half power. And then the dx is du divided by 8. We can take the 1 8 out, integrate. So we get u to the 3 halves uh, times 2 thirds as u goes from 1 to 9 and this gives us 1 over 12 times when you plug in 9 you get 9 times the square root of 9 and when you plug in 1 you get 1 but all of that when you put it out together you get 13 over 6 so that is the length of that curve from 0 to 1. Alright, now let's suppose we want to find the length of the curve y equals x over 2 raised to the two-thirds as x goes from zero to two. All right, um, this time I'm going to graph the function maybe like right here, like that. And when I graph it, it's going to look something like that. And then we have this point right here, which is when you put 2, you get 1. And then over here, you get the point 0, 0. All right. Um, if I take the derivative of y, with respect to x, I get 2 thirds times x over 2 raised to the 1 third negative times 1 half by using the chain rule. And all of these are reduces to 1 third times 2 over x raised to the one-third power. So notice that I switched the fraction and the exponent becomes positive. But this derivative is not continuous from 0 to 2 because it is undefined at 0. So therefore, we cannot use the formula that we used in the previous example. So I'm going to put here not continuous at x equals 0. However, uh, we're going to change this function uh, from being a function of x to being a function of y. So y equals x over 2 raised to the, what is it, 2 thirds? It becomes um, y raised to the 3 halves times 2 equals to x or I'm just going to write it x equals to 2 times y raised to the 3 halves. Now we are going to take the derivative of x with respect to y and we have 2 times 3 halves times y raised to the 1 half power which uh, reduces to or simplifies to 3y to the 1 half power or 3 times the square root of y this function is continuous 
as y goes from 0 to 1, notice y goes from 0 to 1, we're looking at the y values now rather than the x values. So because it is continuous, we can find the length of the original curve by finding the uh, length as follows. It is, will be the integral from c to d, not from a to b, of the square root of 1 plus the derivative of x with respect to y squared and then this is going to be a function of y. So because we know what dx dy is we're going to square it and we're going to add 1 to it. So we have 1 plus dx dy squared that's going to be 1 plus 9y. So then this uh, length over here will be the integral from 0 to 1, we're looking at the y values, of the square root of 1 plus 9y with respect to y. We're going to use substitution again, so we're going to let u equals 1 plus 9y, then du will be 9dy also y equals 0 gives u equals 1 and y equals 1 gives u equals 10 so then this integral becomes the integral that goes from 1 to 10 u to the one-half power du divided by 9, which I can put the 1 over 9 over here. All right, then you put the 1 over 9 and integrate that, so you get u raised to the 3 halves times 2 over 3, as uh, u goes from 1 to 10. All of this will be 2 over 27 times 10 times the square root of 10 minus 1. So this is 2 over 27. You can't really see it, but that's what it is. 2 over 27 times 10 times the square root of 10 minus 1. Thank you. Next time we're going to fine surface area. Thank you.